Hey drummers, Gary Williams is back with another reaction and analysis video. And in today's video, we're going to be listening to and watching one of my very, very favorite big band drummers. A must, I think, for any drummer wanting to learn how to play great big band drums, Mr. Jake Hanna. So we're going to check this out. This is a small group situation with him. And we'll see how it goes. Here we go, Mr. Hanna. <laughs> Bridge. Last day. Okay, we're going to talk about some of that great stuff. I didn't really have a whole lot to say because it was such a musical solo. Not a lot of technical stuff necessarily. Guy's got this beautiful feel. I love the sound of the cymbals, a little higher pitch hi-hat, a little left side ride there. Some like zat, 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 kind of buzzed five-stroke stick shots where you kind of bury one stick into the head, plan it's like a dead stroke, and then you do a stick on stick kind of thing. That's different than the cross stick or an actual rim shot where you're playing off the rim and head at the same time. So it's a classic old school sound going back to the early drum set with wood blocks. That's kind of my theory about that, wanting to kind of maintain some of that. Also because there wasn't that many drums on the early setups, very early days that is, so the drummer would often employ lots of different kinds of sounds out of the snare drum playing on different parts of the head. And then you could just hear the form of Perdido. So you can kind of hear that. It's an A-A-B-A -A -A song form. So you just got done with part of the bridge of the guitar solo into the last day of the guitar solo. And then they went into Jake Hanna taking about three courses or so. But the whole time he's playing over this A-A-B-A, -A -A, which is A phrase, eight bars, another eight bar A phrase, then a bridge or B phrase, different chord progression, and then finally a return to the original A. So that's the A-A-B-A -A -A song form, 32 measure. And so this is what he was soloing over, and he's kind of giving hints of the melody. So if you're hearing the melody, if you're familiar with Perdido, this particular song, then you can actually hear the melody when you listen to the way he was soloing. So that's what I was listening for. And then at the very end there, he brought the hi-hat back in, but he did ditch the hi-hat for a while, which was kind of fun. Love some of the hi-hat work he did. A lot of the old school cats would play on the hi-hat. And the reason for the two hands, instead of using the left foot, they're using the left hand, is because you can really kind of do more subtle muting with your fingers versus muffling with your foot. Now you can learn how to play very gently with your foot as well, but it was some nice little subtleties that you can do in terms of the 
opening and closing of the sound just by the pressure of your hand. And then he was doing some kind of little back sticking on the edge. And then the fanning, which is the old school method where you you see Max Roach do this and um, some old stuff, I'm sure, that was um, Papa Joe Jones back in the day. They would come up and down with the back end of the stick going down, the front of the stick coming up. So it really works only with the traditional grip. But he incorporated some of that nice hi-hat work. I love how he just played some time on the cymbals. Um, jazz drummers, when they play jazz beats, it's cymbal-driven. In other words, it's about the ride and the hi-hat snap with drum accompaniment as opposed to rock, which is drum-driven. Lots of kick and snare with cymbal accompaniment. Very important to have all three components for sure. But the you know the driving force of rock and roll is a drum groove versus jazz, which is more a cymbal groove. So he's approaching his whole solo from that standpoint. Uh, my college professor was a huge fan of Jake Hanna, and it was his favorite big band drummer. So when I was really starting to get serious about big band drumming, I would listen to the early Woody Herman 62, 63 Thundering Herd with Jake Hanna. And oh my God, you got to listen to some of that stuff. There's some videos of them back there playing some of those old tunes, Caldonia, and some of their, and they're so fast. <laughs> it's just incredible, the skill level of these players. So this is obviously later in Jake's career. Let's finish out the tune here and hear if there's anything else coming up. But that was just a really musical solo. Shot. Yes! Oh, what a great ending! Look at that! Floor tom bass cymbal. <laughs> Had the last say. Nice venue. Jake Hanna! Yes! Jake, what a great Jake feel. Hannah. What a beautiful drummer. My goodness. That was awesome. So when I studied... Oh, let me turn that off. Let me turn that on. So when I studied with Jeff Hamilton years ago, he was really into um, listening to... Um, excuse me, John Mowat, my college professor. J um, Jeff Hamilton as well. Early Woody Herman stuff, because Jeff played with the Woody Herman big band. And so it was really cool for me to get a chance to get exposed to this stuff early on in college because, God, his playing was just so fantastic. So I highly recommend you check out Jake Hanna, especially with the stuff with the early Woody Herman big band stuff. It's just fantastic drumming. And apparently he really dislikes social popular music. The story I heard, he played in a club that Jeff Hamilton was playing at with the pianist that I went down to many years ago in California and sat in. And they, the story was <laughs> Jake came in to play that club and they had some sort of pop music going on. So he was very upset about that and said, turn that crap off. <laughs> and so he does not like anything, I guess, other than jazz. So there you went, the great Jake Hanna. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on things. I got some drum set classes. If you're interested in lessons, that's information in the text box. And I was recently notified that my link to my Facebook group was not accurate. Now I fixed that. So I got a very cool Facebook group. You're welcome to come and ask to be able to. I can invite you into the group if you'd like to join it. So, all right. Until then, I'll see you in the next reaction and analysis video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.